what where's your ambitions you know there's been a lot of talk recently everyone's coronating making a coronation of steven gerrard as a future liverpool manager do you have any ambitions down that front just interested to know that's the plan <laughs> yeah plan yeah just please ask about Liverpool. Do you mean management? Too? No, he asked management. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think, yeah. He asked management. Yeah, that's, that's fair, Chris. The, the, yeah. the... <laughs> but Jürgen knows this. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But this isn't the time no, to speak about these things because I have okay. a contract till 2024. Um, mm. And uh, when the time has come, I will sit down with my management and I will see the options I have. Uh, but we have a we have a we are in the middle of this project, this beautiful project, and after that I will decide. So, but yeah, yeah definitely, that's the plan. Could I be cheeky enough to ask if you have desires to manage Liverpool one day? Is that an obvious question? I, I just responded that this is not a moment to speak about these things. I, okay. I will sit with my management in 2024, and then we will see all the options what are on the table. Yeah, um, it's still the same. Virgil, Fabinho, Thiago and Curtis Jones, of course, uh, are not in the building, are at home. Um, I have to say that um, I just pray for all the ones uh, who are, have to go to hospital. Look, we are young and healthy and we hope that we don't have to make this drive. Um, but these are the times that we have to think about these people as well. Uh, health always comes first. So, um and that's what we're going to do with them as well. We do, will not rush them back. Uh, we will take our time. This virus is really unpredictable. We have to see how each one, um, if they get sick, um, if they have real symptoms, how to, uh, we will not rush them back. We will take our time. And um, that's the most important. No, because everybody saw what happened. And uh, I think the VAR is a good thing that it's in football because it can help to make the big decisions right. At least everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. Uh, if we make big mistakes, Jürgen and myself, uh, we get punished. If players make big mistakes, they get punished. But if referees make big mistakes, probably or usually the teams get punished or the players get punished as well. And that's not correct. And I'm not talking about the small mistakes in the game because that's football. It goes so quick. But the VAR is there to help the referee. And what I still don't understand is that why the VAR is always a separate person, why the VAR is not part of a team. So you have a referee team and because there are split seconds, the, the guy who helps the referee on the pitch needs to know the referee with everything he has. They need to be a team because together they are responsible. If there's always changes, that will not work. And that's the same that would be if Jürgen every week has a different assistant manager. <laughs> that's exactly the same. You need... And I wish, I wish we had VAR to make better decisions as coaches because then I will not make mistakes.